Kato. Uh, we're back for our afternoon session of talks um, leading up to afternoon tea in New Zealand and then after afternoon tea we'll come back for our Koha Awards Ceremony. So um, this afternoon we're going to switch the order of the first two talks. Um, so the person I'll be introducing now is David Nind and he's here to give us a lightning talk on Wikidata. So really looking forward to that. Thank you so much, David. Hello, everyone. Um, I've got 30 tabs open, and I'm going <laughs> to try and work through them in 10 minutes or less. And, um, and if we can, I'm going to try and fit some live Wikidata editing so you can maybe a little bit real. Now, I don't have any slides, and it's not because I normally leave doing slides to the last minute, and then I couldn't be bothered anymore. Um, but it is, sort of. <laughs> um, so, uh, Wikidata, and uh, there's lots of great presentations on the web, and I'm sure in the library world, you've been to many things about linked and open data. Um, and at the National Digital Forum in New Zealand, there's a great video that says everything I'm going to say much better, so you could probably just watch this, but um, I'll send you all the, I'll somehow send all the links um, um, shortly um, after this. So everyone knows Wiki, Wikipedia, I assume. No one's been living under a rock, and uh, yeah. Now, what you may not have noticed, on, on every single Wiki, Wikipedia page, there's this nice little link down the corner, now I've lost it, saying Wikidata item. And then what this is, is it's a structured database of statements about things. And so if you look over here on the right-hand side for Kate Shepherd, you'll see there's some facts or some claims about her. You know, she was born here and died here and um, some other facts. And at the moment, that's all hand-generated on this page. And then if you go to the, the German version of this article, if there is one, then someone's hand entered all that data again. And so you can see if you've got 20 or 30 or 100 languages and someone's written an article about Kate Shepherd, then um, that data can all get out of sync at some stage. So what Wikidata is, is, is part of trying to solve some of that problem with editing um, Wikipedia. So if we look at, and I'm right down the bottom, if we look at the Wikidata item for Kate Shepherd, it's a series of statements about her. So it says, Kate Shepherd, and she has a short description, and, and then there's a whole lot of statements. So she's a human, and oh, here's a nice picture of her, and she's female, and she's citizens of these countries, and it goes on where she was born, and, 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 and whole lots of other facts. And so why, why do I need to, to know that? Um, and so this, so I'll get to that, um, and there's, it's also set up to be multilingual as well. So, so I'm just showing English and Maori details for her. Um, but there, somebody's gone and translated those statements into, into other languages. So that's all quite cool. Um, so what can you do with this information that's all in this nice database? And Wikidata has this query engine that lets you do it's called Sparkle Queries, but if you like to think of SQL on steroids, um, you can produce lots of um, uh, useful data and representations of all the data that's in Wikidata. When I started on Wikipedia, which I've only been involved with for the last year or so, and that's mainly because of Mike Dickerson, who was New Zealand's first Wikimedian at large. He got a grant from the Wikimedia Foundation, and he went around New Zealand for a year to anyone who wanted to talk let him talk or listen to him or badger, badgering um, libraries and galleries and um, archives and running workshops on how to edit Wikipedia and how to edit Wikidata and how to edit um, Wikimedia Commons, which is all the pictures. So um, they had a session at uh, a Lianza um, presentation here that I went along to and then they had a workshop that same week um, on updating the details of libraries in New Zealand. Um, so what Wikidata likes to do is have lots of IDs for things because 
around the web, everyone's got databases on things. So there's going to be some common ones here libraries might know. So there's VF. Uh, do, do people know about VF? So it has lots of details about authors and, and librarians. Um, lots of different numbers and library of context IDs. So it tries to bring all of this data about that item um, together in one place. So in this case, I'm just going to focus on one ID. There's, there's a, um, the Alexander Turnbull Library as we've been have set up, we've set up an ID, well I didn't, but um, an ID for, for this particular database. And now I can go to, and these, these are properties, um, and uh, they take a bit more effort to get set up because they, they do. Um, and, and so in the Alexander Timber Library, they've got this unique ID for this person, and it has some more information about, about her. Um, it also, so how other places this is used, so Wikimedia uh, Commons is um, a f free repository of reusable images. So the, one of the problems they're trying to solve is um, Oh, we've got this nice info box again. But in, instead of this being um, manually done, it's done from the Wikidata item. Um, and so if the Wikidata item is updated, this page is, when it, someone views it, is going to be updated. Cool. And the other thing it's being used for is, there's a picture of here. And if you've ever tried to search through a photo library like Flickr or other places, um, you know, you, you want to search for pictures of Kate Shepherd, <laughs> or you might. Um, and um, so this is a relatively new thing. You can say that this photo or this thing depicts um, someone as specific, and this is linked to Kate Shepherd's wiki ID. So you can search commons, and if those photos are identified as depicting that person, you'll get all the results. So it's getting pretty smart. And I've got three minutes left and I have really hardly started. Um, so I'm going to skip a couple of things. So what does that have to do with libraries? Uh, so, so that was a person, that was Kate Shepherd. And, and this is an uh, entry for something from my hometown, it's the Omru Opera House. And um, so you can depict buildings or lots of different objects. So there's lots of different models. Now I'm Everyone's familiar with Mark, or maybe not. <laughs> um, so, you know, that's a model for books and um, resources. And, and so in Wikidata, there's lots of models for various um, um, different types of things. So this is a building. So here there's a nice pretty image, and there's um, where it is and where it's located and its coordinates. And so all of this useful statements about something build up over, over time, and you can do useful stuff with it. With, um, uh, with queries. So I'm just going to skip some of these, and that's a nice picture of Mike. Um, so I'm just going to focus, so you can describe libraries in here. So this is the Omru Public Library, and we're lucky enough there's a nice pretty picture, and it says it's part of this, and Waitaki District, and where it is, and the coordinates, and, and all that sort of thing. There's not, New Zealand doesn't have a specific identifier for libraries, so our identifiers are a bit, a bit low. So what can you do with this information? You're saying, well, that's well and good. It's just another database with lots of stuff. So this is a query, and it's, I am not very good at querying, but I've dragged out. Now, we know there's probably more than 190 libraries in New Zealand, but this is all the data that's entered so far. And, um, and if we want to see where they are, because that's just a list. Because the coordinates are in there, you can draw this nice little map of um, um, all the libraries in New Zealand. Now you can see there's, there's a few gaps here, and, it, and that's because I haven't done anything on this for a while. And, and Wikipedia in New Zealand, there's, there's a, a small group of volunteer editors. So, um, and there's lots of projects, and New Zealand's not very well covered compared to America where, um, and anyway, so I was, in the 43 seconds I have left, I was going to, we can see an obvious omission here. There's, there's no 
Levin or Shannon or Foxton libraries. So I've run out of time, but I was going to live add those in there. So then you can. Sure? Okay. Now I hope this is sort of interesting. Um, and um, so we'll skip right to the end, and then hopefully when we've done this, we can. Um, you can see that you too can um, um, edit this. Now I've checked, and there's no entries for for the for the for the um, libraries horror the libraries horror in there. So I will. We will add them. So when you go to add an item in Wikidata, you just say create a new item. And it's a bit like if you've ever edited Wikipedia pages, it's if you've got an account, or even if you haven't got an account, um, anyone can do it. And there's people watching things. Um, Wikid, Wikidata is a little bit different from Wikipedia. To get into Wikipedia, there's some mysterious notability criteria. and um, and in New Zealand, there's a few, no, I wouldn't call them flame wars, but someone thinks oh, this person shouldn't be in there or, or whatever. But um, Wikidata has a lower barrier of entry and it still has to be you know, useful data in here. Um, and the other thing with Wikipedia is you can't really edit your own stuff. So um, you can't create a nice marketing brochure for your company. Um, I hope someone will probably find that and um, yeah, um, do that. But you still need useful references and, and things like that. So I'm going to um, put in the name and we're going to give it a description. And this is going to be public library in, everyone can shout out if I'm, I'm typing this wrong. So the horror, did I spell that right? New Zealand. Cool, and you can put in aliases. So, so, so with people, for example, they might be John Smith or they might be John A. Smith, but they might be known as Albert. So you can put all these aliases in there so that when you search, it sort of knows who it's talking about. Um, so, I guess some people probably know that is the Levin Public Library. Would that be right? Yeah, yeah, and we could add some other ones in there. Um, yes, yep, I was going to get to that. So at the moment, there's no statements here um, about this. Um, so someone could go and remove this if I don't quickly add some stuff. Um, stuff in Wikidata doesn't need a Wikipedia page, but it can sometimes be useful to set up a Wikidata item with lots of useful information, and then that can help make the case for having a, a Wikipedia page. So I'm going to add a statement, and I'm going to say this. So most things start off with an instance of, and I'm, and it's obviously not human, but if we put in public library, yeah, cool. So we'll say that. Now you probably want to know where it is. So we're going to so we're going to say it's in New Zealand. Yep, and so all of this data is coming from other statements, so it's all linked together. Um, and then we're going to say lo located in this administrative territory, and I assume it's horror. Sorry, my spelling. Cool, so we've got there's a district in there. And we can add a street address. And I think when I looked it up before, 10 bar. Right. Ten bar. bar, bar. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Levin. And that's English, but, um, and I'll go and put the postcode in later. <laughs> It's useful if we have someone. <laughs> what was that? 5410. 5510. Okay. Now, obviously, I will go and add some references later because, you know, that could all just be hearsay and Levin doesn't actually exist. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure Joe and would, would dis probably disagree with that. So we had that map before which displayed all the libraries. 
Um, so you can put in a coordinate location, and I did this a long time yesterday, five minutes ago. So we've got this coordinate from OpenStreetMaps, and I've, you know, there's a nice little map here of for where it is. Yeah, and so we can put that in there. And now there's a nice little thing there. Now I'm not sure whether it's going to happen straight away, but now if I go and and I can add more statements and identifiers and um, if there now I didn't look very hard, but I don't think there's a publicly usable picture in common. So so next time up there, I can probably take a photo and add it in and then link it to this. Um, but if we go back to that, I'll, I'll do the query first. And we'll just make sure it's, sometimes there's a little delay. Yeah, I'll run that query again. So that will, starts with T, doesn't it? So sometimes there's a little bit of delay before queries work because it gets a lot. Cool. So in theory, if I run this map, um, so because it's got a coordinates, I'll, I'll just run this again. And now I can regenerate that map. And depending... Cool. And... Yay! <laughs> yay. So um, I wanted to do a little bit more and I've gone way over time but um, so I would encourage you even though you may not or may not be using um, uh, wiki data or some of the smart things you can do um, to to make if if you're in a library make sure there's there's a wiki data entry for your library um, or your network of libraries um, in your area um, get some nice pictures in Wikimedia Commons so that when people query it, they can say, oh, that's, that's who it is. Um, and if you're in New Zealand, most, most countries have, if you want to learn more, and, you know, libraries don't, librarians um, have nothing else to do but learn new things, so. <laughs> um, but if learning a bit more about Wikipedia and Wikidata and Commons and all the other tools um, floats your boat, then in New Zealand, in Wellington, we have a, um, and I've just lost it. We have a Wellington meetup, and funnily enough, the um, the Wikipedia it's a page on Wikipedia, and there's a meetup, a physical meetup, this week on Saturday, but I won't be there. And um, we have them in Wellington every um, uh, once a month, and around the country, some areas, particularly Christchurch. And a couple of areas have meetups, and we have an online one because during COVID, um, no, we weren't allowed to get together. So, um, and we ended up getting a whole range of people that we wouldn't normally have there, and um, and including some of our, um, our people from Australia as well who are interested in our New Zealand Wikidata. Um, and then just um, hit me up afterwards. So, that's all I was going to do. Well, that was more than I was going to do. So, thank you. <laughs>